the backstory of Roblox's number one game. Well, today we're gonna figure it out. Cube and C made a video called the story of Roblox's number one game. And I'm pretty sure this number one game is Pet Simulator X, or maybe it's Brookhaven. I actually don't know. It looks like Pet Simulator X, but I thought, you know what? Let's go ahead and watch it and see how this became Roblox's number one game because I want to know the backstory. Go get your popcorn, get some snacks, and get some water or uh, uh, some Coke or whatever you want. And uh, let's check this out. In 2019, right. a random dev made a small Roblox game expecting nothing. But to a surprise, uh -huh. this marked the beginning Wait, of the highest turning game. <gasps> Oh, it's Blocks Fruits. Guys, my, my guess was wrong. It is the top, isn't it? Wait, Pessimator X isn't the top? Hold up. Let me go back over here. Let me refresh this. No way. Also, if you guys don't like me stopping the video and pausing, this is a reacting video. If you want to watch the full video, go check out his channel. I'll have a link down in the description below to his video if you want to watch it uninterrupted. But we're going to be uninterrupted. We're going to be interrupting this. Um, okay, we have Blocks Fruits and please donate. I'm shocked. Brookhaven's up here, of course. We have Bloxburg. Okay, wait. So is, is Pessimator X not a top-earning game? No, there it is. Pessimator X. Ah, interesting. I thought it'd be more up ahead, but whatever. Okay, let's, with let's a look at Bloxburg. Community, many historical moments and more. But to find out how this happened, we need to go back... Okay, actually, how did this happen? To be honest, I really don't know anything about Bloxburg. I feel like it just came out of nowhere. And then about like six months ago, I realized how big Bloxburg was on YouTube. And then I was like, dang, people actually love this game. Seven years so, ago, when a player by the name of My Game 43 published his first successful Roblox game. Oh my gosh, I remember that. Years, I like that game. He spent hours on game after game, only for them to die out oh, so after getting players on his biggest project yet he was delighted still yeah. far from number one though but with oh, the gameplay matching tea. some of his biggest games nowadays you can okay. tell he's a man with a plan but after working on the game for two years non-stop my game thought of an idea that would change everything. You see, around this time was when games like Pet Sim, Bubblegum mm. Sim, and Public yeah. Bathroom Sim always got praise. And knowing how to build cool games, my game you had the brilliant idea to make a whole new group to create his own parkour sim. And of course, oh. the game went crazy. Oh, and then died. That okay. wasn't meant to happen. The issue with most simulators is that they get boring fast, True. and parkour sim was no exception. So at this point, he had option A and option B. He can either abandon parkour sim to grow his already beloved uh -huh. game. Smart choice. Yeah, that sounds good. Or completely scrap new both one. to make a new game yeah. that'll likely fail Could of its that. garbage. Wait, why would he do that? Considering his dream is to own the most popular game, there's no way he's doing this alone. Let's hope he makes the right choice. But while Take he risk. decides his fate, the let risk. us meet our second oh. main character, Rip main character. Indra. Throughout these years, Indra has been like a brother to my game, Aww. helping him with games before he even got players. And just like my game, he's determined to make something great. So remember him for later. It's 2019 okay. already? New year, already new achievements, name. right? Well, not really. I'm because kidding. your main game randomly stopped updating. It did. Players were getting impatient. And with their projects fading away, you may think that my game and Indra gave up. But it's the complete but opposite. They didn't. Using they the were, group they, they made were, for Parkour Sim, the two working. of them worked for months on a new game, Blocks Beast, which is set to release in a month. The game is a combination of their last two, so it had to be good. And oh, they knew the fans would love it. How are they combined? Oh, no. Just no. What oh. about oh. Elemental? Update Element. Can you update what? Element? What? Although the game not wasn't the out yet, players weren't happy. All they cared about was an update for Elemental Battlegrounds. Locks pieces release can either go well, or embarrassingly horrible, making months of work True. and sacrifice for nothing. But if you truly want to be the best, you must always push forward. True. On June 7th, Blocks Peace finally released. There you cyber bully these guys for money to buy fruits, which gives you powers in battle. The first players have joined, ready to adventure. Although their game was very simple, the pioneers somehow found ways to break it not even a day later. Oh. Like this guy rapidly switching no his weapon, way. which somehow combines them. This may look like a bad thing at first, but these kinds of glitches make the game more True. enjoyable, which True. may help it grow later on. However, to be considered the number one game, it needs to achieve all these goals. If my game and injury Wait, that's a lot of goals. To Hold be on. considered but... the number one game, it needs to Okay, it needs to reach a million players. Makes sense. Ninety percent like ratio. Ten billion visits. Become number one or played by a number one YouTuber. Most players on Blo Roblox and what? Do they have one million Discord members? I don't even know if they have one million Discord members. That's gonna blocks fruits. That's crazy. I mean, look at that. There's like three hundred k people on. They have twenty billion visits almost. 
that is insane like i've tried playing this game to be honest oh there it is oh my gosh they do they have 1.2 million people on the server. that's crazy that is huge okay okay let's get back to the let's get back to the video to achieve all these goals if my game and indra want that title they needed to play their cards right instead of something basic like a new egg they added new fruits to the game ah, each with their own abilities that makes sense. and to make grinding more fun they also added three new islands and each with their own enemies helping players level up up. Progress yeah, was yeah. being made, but Ooh. all these updates would be useless if people didn't True. care. Thankfully, the players had other goals in mind. With money, you can buy the best fruits, weapons, and fighting styles, which were very fun to fight with. So to keep the game more alive, players kept finding strange ways to make money. <laughs> Remember the islands I showed you before? Well, this one in particular led to a cool discovery. By simply going to this temple, breaking in, and running in circles, you can farm up to $7,000 per $7, minute. $7,000? Speaking of money, the devs were making tons of it. Oh, yeah, Thanks they to their were. special strategy. Instead of being like most devs and making random updates, they actually Not let the us choose the cats. updates. You gotta give people oh, what they I like want. That. This went on for months for more challenges, you weapons. That's something Bluster should take out. We should we should get to vote on what we want next because there's so many things that people want. Fruits and even mysteries were rolled in. The community built Love hype around reason. those with fun glitches, <laughs> speed runs to max level. <laughs> and long hunts for insanely rare weapons. We had a reason to play. The devs True. even redid a bunch of fruits to make the game more fresh. Everything seemed to be going well until... <gasps> what happened? It's November, and the game hasn't updated in three oh, months. Is Bloxby's just another abandoned Roblox project? Well, let's find out. Today's the big day. I've been working for three months on this update, and it'll be the best thing anyone can feast their eyes upon. <gasps> he did Here it. we go. He did it! <gasps> What's that? Welcome to the second sea. We got five new oh, islands, a dang. new level cap, oh. a factory that gives you free fruits when raided, okay, yeah, and of that, course new weapons. But best of all, they made a new rarity, mythical items, which made players spend hundreds of hours to get them. <laughs> a great game must keep players playing. Like this True. guy spending one day straight, grinding for fruits in a new factory, what and this other guy speedrunning for two days for max level, which sets the stage wow. for even bigger mega projects. With a whole new realm of new locations, we're bound to have memorable moments bringing the game to life which we're gonna go over with the help of our sponsor world of tanks uh, with we, over 800 tanks. okay we're gonna skip the we're gonna skip the the sponsor yeah, go away good. every Unless, tank has seven okay. visibility checkpoints and two ability me, combined with it. fruits allowing them to achieve <laughs> okay, immortality yeah, that's, but despite our oh my gosh why are we still in the tank to these guns that obliterate even the you can obliterate your enemies with fruit okay, so and while we'll rolling at the speed of light and just like roblox anyone can oh play for free gosh, on pc Oh, the don't yellow miss bar it. tells me up there. The okay, updates we're back. had we're back. to stand out, because otherwise... <clears throat> Their first move was to add a huge new area, then build a lab on top that allows players to simulate raids. These raids come in handy because they give you fragments to awaken your fruits, basically Ooh. a buffed version of them. But a smart move the devs made was starting their own channel. Not only did they leak future updates That's to build smart. hype, they yeah. also filmed That's questionable videos does. like my oh. game obliterating five admins with the new Quake Fruit Awakens with over 9,000 levels, then gets one-shotted by Indra's special admin powers, and all for a good 3 million views. Easy. Clips of admins trolling as well as a new feature brought insane traffic to the game. So the admins trolled even more by spawning a bunch of deadly we CBs some in someone's trolling. video, as well as showing off even you know more what? secret- Bloxburg, where's the trolling? I want some trolls in Bloxburg. ...abilities you can only dream of having. Speaking of abilities, the community got so strong to the point where they would do anything for a good fruit. Jump off like if you fruit. went on eBay and searched up Blox fruits, there's people selling accounts for ridiculous uh, prices. $400 what? for a dough fruit, That's why crazy. do people buy this stuff? But on the flip side, we had people like the Great Ace, dedicating his life to rolling hundreds of fruits, just to give them all away like a giga chat. The next That's few nice. months were pretty good. I mean, updates were kinda slow, cause they only released every six months but that doesn't mean the game was abandoned the admins did mini updates to keep players hyped like okay, raising the max the level update. and bounty which you get from killing players adding a small island to the second sea and funniest of all making custom ranks you earn for killing youtubers in game with great game mechanics and a solid fan base the team decided to work on their biggest update yet Ooh, the biggest one what, what's the biggest one i'm intrigued Season At this three. point, Blox Fruits was a cinematic universe with three massive connected worlds True. and many new fruits in a new update. But we still have a problem. Oh, with the game the, being the one step closer to number one, we're bound to have bad apples. True. You see, this whole time, the game didn't have trading. All you could do is drop your fruit really? and pray they trade you back. Nope. 
Oh, so in the update, damn, the devs made a safe okay. trading system. Oh, Each nice. fruit had uh, an official good. value, so you know if you're getting scammed. I don't know how much this helped, but it did make players go ballistic. <laughs> Around this time, my game and Indra did something clever. The game was very competitive, and players always compared them. So to gather attention, they 1v1 with admin commands on a massive YouTuber's livestream. Oh, cool. New. No. It's a new year, and when I say the game was making progress, I mean it. Dang, this history was being car, made crazy. left and right. For the first time, players broke Roblox itself. No, not just by crashing Roblox with a high player count. Every world had a level requirement, but players found a way to break into the third sea without a high enough ha level. What? By sailing to this People island, beating up the rip and your boss and rejoining, game. the servers would break and somehow let you win. But the game's success was not only from glitches, but mega projects too. Remember the guy who gave away yeah. hundreds of fruits? I remember. Well, that same guys spend days making a hundred accounts just to farm all these fruits to give away Dude, like this is crazy so but unfortunately time. the game trolled them deleting oh. lots of progress no. but the game itself was progressing amazingly of course we had the occasional screw up like this glitch where quests gave 10 times more xp than usual but with fruit <laughs> designs being million? out of this world and players constantly pushing the limits the devs were ready for their biggest challenge yet but the to do this they needed million. help from their trusty friend yeah, let me explain. What? While players were messing around, the devs spent a year on a four-part update. Most notably, four the new part? mythical leopard fruit, which players fell in love with. Knowing how strong the fruit is, they invented an interesting speedrun. You start with the worst fruits, then slowly trade up to leopard. This creative idea, along with many other parts of the update, brought many weird glitches and memorable moments, leading the game to a million players <gasps> and 10 billion visits. Really? At this point, most people would just relax and celebrate on players? their own. That's but you already know, the devs players? weren't crazy. most people. Instead, they made an entire event. You earn confetti to buy OP fruit, not only to celebrate how far the game has come, but to also attract and help new players. And big surprise, See, players made this into to another way to grind on stop. Devs. Like, come on, guys, relax a bit. Oh, and speaking of new players, two of them were these random guys. I've not spent that, days oh, they're not random, days okay. I'm max level. Chandler, look, you were an absolute sweat. Now we're in the current year, with viral uh, events yeah. like an There's admin a trolling a hacker share. live. Get out of here, boy. Get her done. <laughs> YouTubers messing with admin and this guy again rolling fruits for an entire month straight and a future update that'll literally glow up the game the community is stronger than ever i guess hard work does pay off it does. but lots of the success came from players and devs just True. having a good time and messing around i guess it wouldn't be fair to call a single game number one big or small they all have something special to they offer do. if a game is number uh, one in our hearts, no way they just shade and adopt me no from way players and devs just having a good that? time they and messing around i guess me. it wouldn't be fair to call a single game number one Big or small, they all have something. Look, it says I don't know. Lol. I, to be honest, Adami has like the same stuff that that I, that draws people into blocks fruits. It's like leveling up their animals, like their pets, getting mythical, like pets, getting them to neon and things like that. Like, there's a lot of things that ha they have similar qualities. It's just that Adopt Me has like a a, a children base more of a of a audience, and then blocks fruits is more widely for anyone in any thing basically so i think i think you get the idea of how you can become number one with these games because you just gotta you just gotta make them keep playing special to offer if a game is number one in our hearts that's worth more than any fame it'll have is it though from a dev perspective no <laughs> but that is basically the story of roblox's number one game which is blocks fruits i've played blocks fruits probably once and that's it but i don't know it's it's just i love rpgs i'm not gonna lie i love mmos and things like that those are like my go-to games when i was a kid like i loved wizard 101 but now i'm just like i'm so far away like the level cap is 2450 like at this point is it even worth the try but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video of the the story of roblox's number one game go check out his video it's really well made he has also some other cool videos that i have not watched but they look really cool oh he used to make better war videos i remember those okay but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys did smash the like button below subscribe and you're into the notification bell to get another video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye